Ready for medical career growth? Yes, you are in the right place. Hello, this is Dr. Neema Bish, BDS by degree and a pharma professional. As a founder of Career in Pharma, our mission is to guide medical professional towards remarkable success in the pharma industry. With a track record of over 700 plus students, trained and placed into various premier pharma companies, we are here to elevate your journey. Once again, I welcome you all to Career in Pharma and I welcome you all to next uh, question answer of pharmacovigilance important interview question uh, in the series of uh, pharmacovigilance important interview question answer series. Yes. Now in this video, in last video, I talked about adverse drug reaction and its classification um, by Rollin Thompson and uh, based on uh, severity. Now today I'm going to tell you adverse event like what is serious adverse event and what are the different criteria to call any adverse event as a serious adverse event. Now in our uh, past videos I already discussed what is adverse event again I will tell you for followed by what is serious adverse event what are the different criteria to call any adverse event as a serious adverse event that is SAE and also I am going to explain you the case scenario because this is again very very the most important interview question for pharmacovigilance that is what is serious adverse event and different case scenario the interviewer may give you yes so let's begin now what is adverse event so adverse event is nothing as for who it is an untoward medical occurrence now why we are saying untoward medical occurrence because it is simply a occurrence which may or may not related to the drug which you are using for treatment so this is an untoward medical occurrence that may present during treatment with a drug and which may or may not necessarily have a causal causal relationship with the treatment the drug which you are taking so in see in case of adverse drug reaction which is always related to the drug adverse event is something which is not always related to the drug so we need to find out if it's related to the drug or not yes so that is adverse event now there is something called serious adverse event yeah so and any adverse event uh, can be serious or non-serious also now the question is what is the criteria to call any adverse event any medical occurrence as a serious so see anything will be serious to patient if it's going to affect the patient's life if there is any threat to patient's life or functioning that will be serious yes so we have few categories to call any adverse event as a serious adverse event let's understand and dive deeper into this yeah now as per fda that is food and drug administration that is the drug regulatory authority body of the us so as per fda serious adverse event is any untoward medical occurrence that first of all if any adverse event is resulting in death of the patient means after taking the treatment the drug if the patient died then it is a serious adverse event Second criteria is if that adverse event is a life threatening event means if that adverse event placing the patient at the risk of the death. Okay, if proper medical intervention not given on time, then that is a serious adverse event. Okay, so if any event medical occurrence is life threatening patients places the patients at risk of death. Yeah third category is if any adverse events requires hospitalization okay or prolongs existing hospitalization so before i tell you exactly this hospitalization let me tell you hospitalization means if the patient is admitted in hospital for more than 24 hours that is called as hospitalization if less than 24 hours the patient is in hospital and the patient got the treatment returned back to home within 24 hours that we are not going to tell uh, that is not a hospitalization okay so any adverse event because of which the patient needs to get hospitalized 
or the patient's existing hospital hospitalization prolongs for example the patient is on let's say any treatment for uh, his or her infection and the patient is hospitalized and let's say if taken took any medicine because of which the infection healing uh, got delayed and it resulted into prolongation of the existing hospitalization so this is one of the kind of serious adverse event yes another criteria is if any adverse event is uh, causing persistent or significant disability or incapacity in patient example is let's say the patient had a stroke after taking any drug and because of this stroke the patient got paralysis so because of paralysis there will be significant disability in the patient body that is a serious adverse event. yes or any adver adverse event is a birth defect so if any drug is causing uh, you know if any drug is having teratogenic effect and because of which let's say the newborn baby had some birth defect then it is a kind of serious adverse event another is if any adverse event requires medical intervention to prevent any of the above outcome means if you are giving any medical intervention to the patient to prevent death uh, to prevent the patient from the risk of death to prevent hospitalization to prevent disability or to prevent birth defect yes if you are doing any of this thing uh, if you are uh, giving any medical intervention in any scenario if you are giving medical intervention to prevent the above criteria then also that adverse event will be a serious adverse event yes for example the patient got an asthma attack that requires intensive treatment in an emergency room without any hospitalization will also be counted as a serious adverse event yes or any seizures that does not result in hospitalization but requires medical treatment that is also a kind of serious adverse event yes so definitely there is a lot of medical judgment goes around to classify any adverse event as a serious adverse event yes now i'm going to give uh, explain you these serious adverse event example with the case scenario now please remember that in any interview if interviewer is asking you about serious adverse event then you should be able to explain uh, based on this case scenario example also or the interviewer themselves will ask you by giving case scenario so they they give you some case summary some case scenario and they will ask you if it's just an adverse event or a serious adverse event yes so let's begin with some scenario for example after taking some drug a patient encountered severe cramps in arms and legs so cramp was very severe but uh, the it was uh, self limiting and it resolved on its own and patient did not requires any intervention or any kind of hospitalization so in this case this even severe cramp is just an adverse event not a serious adverse event. yeah another example is the patient had nausea and vomiting uh, at seventh day of the treatment okay so simple nausea and vomiting patient did not require any intervention any hospitalization so here this nausea and vomiting is just an adverse event not a serious adverse event another is after taking the medicine the uh, patient had se severe bronchospasm because of which uh, the patient need to go to emergency room and for intervention so here because of bronchospasm although patient was not hospitalized for more than 24 hours but patient need to go to emergency room so that uh, you know serious harms could be prevented after bronchospasm so this is serious adverse event okay because here it's a important medical event where uh, there was a emergency visit required yes so severe bronchospasm happened resulted in emergency visit will be a serious adverse event yeah another scenario is let's say an intercurrent infection resulting in death okay so patient was on some drug patient had some infection and patient died also so in this the serious this death is a serious ad adverse event this infection is a serious adverse event whose outcome was death so in this diagnosis will be infection and death is the outcome of this infection event so this will be a serious adverse event yes another example is uh, the patient broke 
right arm while riding a bike and was also on medication so here this was a fracture because of which the patient go to hospital and got plaster done and returned back to home so there was no threat to patient life there was no risk to patient life so this is simply a adverse event and not a serious adverse event another example is patient uh, got emergency hysterectomy during clinical trial medicine okay the patient was on medicine clinical trial medicine and after the, the, that drug during that treatment patient undergore emergency hysterectomy so yeah it was it was an emergency treatment happened during the course of drug treatment so definitely it's a serious adverse event see any surgery if it's planned while the patient is on drugs elective surgery will not be a serious adverse event because that was planned but any surgery which is happening uh, you know at an emergency without any planning that will be counted as a serious adverse event because again for hysterectomy the patient needs to get hospitalized yes so this is one of the example of serious adverse event so i hope uh, with this case scenario you got clarity over how we can uh, call any adverse event as a serious adverse event or just an adverse event yes so please remember the criteria first of all along with the criteria you should be having enough uh, medical knowledge you should be having that ability to use your medical judgment to classify any adverse event as a serious adverse event. so again i am repeating any event resulting into death will be a serious event adverse event any event which requires immediate medical intervention although patient was not hospitalized but may be gone to emergency room may be gone to hospital for immediate medical intervention will also be a serious adverse event any event which requires hospitalization okay because of the event then it will be in serious adverse event any event which results into incapacity disability for example after stroke if the patient got paralysis and because of paralysis there was a significant disability this is a serious adverse event any event which resulting into birth defect or drug with teratogenic effect so this birth defect also comes into serious adverse event happening in the newborn baby and any medical intervention which required to prevent all these criteria happening in the patient will be counted as a serious adverse event okay so i hope with this the serious adverse event is clear to all of you uh, with different criteria and also case scenario also i have explained uh, search for more case scenario via google via other sources and be ready with these case scenario case example also because in any interview uh, interviewer may give you some case scenario and may ask you tell me if it's a serious adverse event or simply an adverse event yes so i hope i was may able to make this adverse event topic simple for you the serious adverse event topic simple for you and i hope now there is no need to mug up the things look for more examples and if you find any different examples with uh, what i explained if you find any different example please comment below in the comment section so that more and more people can uh, may get awareness about this and even this will be a new information for me yes if you really like this uh, simplification of serious adverse event please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please like this video share it with your friends yes so with this i am going to conclude this video we'll be coming soon with some fresh next video till the time i come again till that time please stay safe aware updated healthy and keep exploring new things have a nice day